So I made this video over here a few days ago, Deep Sucks, and all of you and everybody in the comment section is like, oh, what happened to him? Deep Sucks doesn't suck, it's so good. Look at these comments, okay? Here, and I ask the same thing. In this video, I'm literally going to allow you to do the thinking for yourself, okay? Because what the fuck do I know? I just built an AI software that literally went from making $500 a month to making $250,000 a month, but hey, you know, whatever. So let's go through these comments, right? I'm unsure. Um, you clearly don't understand what think is. Research before you jump straight into your thoughts. Okay. Got it. So let's test it out. And, and here's the thing, right? I looked online everywhere. I looked at other people's videos. And there are people talking about, you, you go online, you just type in deep seek. Everybody's just like sucking its dick right now, right? Because why? Because this is how YouTube works. Um, people find out that one topic is getting views. So literally everybody just starts making videos on it because it's getting views. And then everybody starts saying good things about it because, okay, you say good things about it, you make, you get crazy, crazy views. Okay. So, um, I decided to check it out. I decided to see what the hype is about. I was personally not getting good responses. In most people's videos, they usually do really weird benchmark tests in their videos that are like not realistic. Like you're like, what, what, like, why would this ever be useful? I went and I watched a bunch of people's videos, but the benchmarks are always Just super weird. Day like, 21. okay, for example, like for me, this benchmark was weird, right? I love watching uh, Theo's videos, but the, the example that the question that he asks it is, um, let's see where we can go. And then I'll show you guys kind of what I'm doing with it, right? So very, some esoteric, really long form mathematical problem. And then that's the thing that they give deep seek. And that's the thing they give like O3 high to test it against each other. This is all great, but I'm talking about real world In real world. I'm not asking weird esoteric contrived examples in the real world. I'm asking like normal questions. So let's take a look at, um, one of them. Okay. So let's go ahead and open this up and I'm just going to ask a very simple question. Um, and this is my question here. Okay. My goal is this script should only run on get poppy.ai and, uh, not on anything like get poppy.ai slash privacy page. Uh, but if, if someone comes with ref dot hello, it should still work. Okay. So like if you come in with the uh, URL parameter, this should, the script should still run. And all I'm trying to do is tr where my testimonial pop-ups should show very simple problem. Okay. Now I'm like, I'm in Google Tag Manager, please help me set up the rules. And I have four models here. This is a very, like this is a normal problem that a marketer would have, that a tr person who needs to track their stuff for, as a professional would have at their jobs. It's a common problem, okay? So we got the O3 model, we got Sonnet, we got DeepSeek R1, and we got Quinn 2.5 Max. And now I'm going to run it so we can see all of their responses side by side and also how long each response takes. So let's take a look. Okay, so we got um, Sonnet to reply to us. Okay, let's take a look. Did O3 respond yet? O3 has responded to us already, O3 mini. Okay, Quinn 2.5 max is uh, done responding to us and DeepSeek is still going. Uh, this response here, page equals slash and host name equals that is correct, okay? So Claude got it correct. Uh, O3 mini got it correct. Let's take a look at Quen 2.5. Uh, did it get it correct? Create the trigger, exactly that. And then one that matches the regex. Okay, so it got it correct too. Quint 2.5x got it correct. Fucking DeepSeek R1 was still going and look at this, it crashed, network error, okay? It never gave the answer, it never got out of thing and it literally crashed like, and the time that it didn't crash, it, it gave a really long answer and just kept going forever. So I will literally type, you know, let's open up a new chat. I'll type it in again. Okay, simple problem. 
Sonnet has in the past gotten it wrong multiple times, but Sonnet now gets it right pretty much every single time. And then these models just take, yeah, and I don't have time all day to wait for Deep Seek R1. So I don't know what this, like who is using it in their everyday life? Plus O3 Mini has a 200,000 window. Um, Quinn 2.5 Max is made by Alibaba and it's fucking awesome. It's the closest experience I get to Sonnet. Um, I have been using O3 Mini and I gotta be honest, it's been doing pretty well so far. And then yeah, Deep Seek R1 is down because it's probably getting attacked by people. Like I just sent it test, okay? I just wrote test to Deep Seek. It took six seconds to respond to it. And now it's like, okay, everything seems fine. And now I'm gonna go and like, just click their API platform and it's down. So I am not sure guys, I have no idea what the world is going so crazy about Deep Seek R1. I will tell you, Quint 2.5 Max has been awesome so far that I've used it. Um, I think that it went overkill with this response. I, I don't think that that response is the best. I think the simplest responses that are right are from O3 Mini and Claude. They're very human readable, they're very maintainable, all of that. This one is like very hard to maintain. If another marketer on my team sees it, it'll be like, what the hell is that? It's also not clear to me where the answer is, uh, how Quinn 2.5 Max formats it, right? Like I don't actually, it's not easy for me to identify where the answer is. Whereas Sonnet and both O3 Mini just make it so brain dead obvious. And um, R1 just like can't stop failing. So again, I know I'm gonna get like a bunch of like people who are just on their knees for Deep Seek R1, spam my comment section. Oh my God, guys, he doesn't know how to use even think. I'm gonna get fucking 500 upvotes. Go ahead, spend, waste your fucking time here. But for anybody that has half of a fucking brain cell, like I don't know who's left on this channel that has half of a brain cell, but like if you do and you're watching this, like can you please tell me where you've used it personally in your life where it has outcompeted or done better than Claude Sonnet or O3 Mini? Curious, would love to know. Um, and also let me know if you're using Quinn 2.5 Max because that model is also really damn good.